In the vast, chilly expanse of the cosmos, a small envoy from Earth embarks on an unprecedented journey. This journey is a testament to human curiosity, a voyage that challenges the boundaries of our knowledge, plunging into the depths of the unknown. Our humble envoy, the Voyager 2 spacecraft. Conceived in the imagination of scientists and birthed in the laboratories of NASA, Voyager 2's mission was ambitious. Its purpose was not merely to explore, but to answer some of the most profound questions about our place in the universe. The spacecraft was designed to venture to the outer planets of our solar system and beyond to the uncharted territory of interstellar space. On a warm August day in 1977, Voyager 2 was launched from Cape Canaveral, Florida. It's interesting to note that Voyager 2, despite its name, was actually launched 16 days before its twin, Voyager 1. The naming convention was based on their anticipated arrival times at Jupiter and Saturn. Due to the intricacies of their flight paths, Voyager 1 was expected to reach the planets before Voyager 2, hence the numerical order of their names. Voyager 2 was not just a piece of machinery, it was a symbol of our collective aspiration, a testament to our desire to learn, to explore, to understand. It was a tiny speck of humanity reaching out into the cosmic sea, yearning for connection, for knowledge, for discovery. The launch was a spectacle to behold. The anticipation was palpable as the countdown echoed in the control room. Then with a tremendous roar, Voyager 2 was hurled into the cosmos. A fiery trail marked its path as it ascended into the sky. A beacon of our ambition, a testament to our dreams. As Voyager 2 disappeared from sight, its journey was just beginning. It was embarking on a voyage that would take it billions of miles from home into the uncharted territory of outer space. And so with a fiery roar, Voyager 2 began its epic voyage into the unknown. Voyager 2's mission was nothing short of audacious, a grand tour of the outer planets. This was no ordinary sightseeing trip. It was a bold and intricate dance through the solar system, choreographed by the cosmic ballet of planetary alignment. You see, a rare alignment of the planets Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune that occurs just once every 175 years offered a unique opportunity. This alignment allowed a single spacecraft to visit all four gas giants on a trajectory powered by the slingshot effect. A clever use of the planet's gravity to propel the spacecraft from one planet to the next. This gravity assist technique, also known as the slingshot effect, is a bit like swinging a stone in a sling, then releasing it at just the right moment to send it hurtling towards its target. Except in this case, the stone was Voyager 2, and the sling was the gravitational field of each planet it visited. First on the agenda was Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system. A gas giant with a magnetic field stronger than any other planet, Jupiter was a formidable first target. But this was not a mission deterred by challenges. Instead, Voyager 2 thrived on them. Its trajectory meticulously planned to use Jupiter's immense gravity to slingshot it onwards in its journey. The audacious mission of Voyager 2 was not just about visiting these outer planets. It was about gaining valuable data, about pushing the boundaries of what we thought we knew about our solar system. It was about exploration and discovery, about reaching out into the great unknown and daring to dream of what might be found. As Voyager 2 left the vicinity of Earth, it was set on a path that would take it where no spacecraft had gone before, a grand tour indeed, but one with a purpose far greater than mere tourism. This was a mission of exploration, a voyage of discovery, a journey into the unknown. Voyager 2 was set on a path that would take it where no spacecraft had gone before. In July 1979, almost two years after its launch, Voyager 2 had its first encounter, the gas giant Jupiter. Indeed, it was a momentous occasion. The grandeur of Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system, was now within reach of our humble space probe. But what Voyager 2 discovered was far beyond what we had anticipated. One of the most striking revelations was the discovery of active volcanoes on Jupiter's moon. Io, prior to this, Earth was the only known celestial body in our solar system with active volcanoes. Imagine the surprise when Voyager 2 sent back images of plumes of sulfur spewing from Io's surface. This was an astonishing find, one that shook our understanding of geological activities in our solar system. In addition to the volcanic activity on Io, Voyager 2's encounter with Jupiter revealed the intricate structure of Jupiter's rings. 
Unlike the more famous rings of Saturn, Jupiter's rings are faint and primarily composed of tiny dust particles. Voyager 2's images revealed these rings to be more complex than we initially thought. They are made up of three main components, a thin innermost ring known as the halo, a slightly thicker main ring, and an outer gossamer ring. This intricate structure of Jupiter's rings gave us a glimpse into the dynamic processes at play in the formation and evolution of planetary rings. These discoveries, among others, have been instrumental in shaping our understanding of the solar system. They have shown us that our celestial neighborhood is a place of unexpected diversity and dynamism. They've opened up new possibilities for the existence of life beyond Earth, and they've challenged us to rethink our theories and models of how planets and their moons evolve. So as we delve deeper into the cosmos, we carry with us the lessons learned from our encounter with Jupiter. We are reminded that the universe is a place of infinite wonder and discovery, where the only constant is change and where the possibilities are as vast as the cosmos itself. After a successful rendezvous with Jupiter, Voyager 2 set its sights on the ringed beauty Saturn. In August 1981, Voyager 2 arrived at Saturn revealing the ring planet in unprecedented detail. Saturn, the sixth planet from the Sun and the second largest in our solar system, is known for its strikingly beautiful ring system. But Voyager 2's visit upended what we thought we knew about this celestial giant. Voyager 2's instruments studied Saturn's complex structure of its rings, which are made up of countless tiny particles ranging in size from small pebbles to giant boulders. These particles are mostly water ice, but they also contain traces of rocky material. Each ring orbits at a different speed around Saturn, creating a stunning visual spectacle that Voyager 2 was able to capture in extraordinary detail. But the rings were not the only revelation. Voyager 2 also provided us with a closer look at Saturn's largest moon, Titan. Larger than the planet Mercury, Titan is the only moon in our solar system known to have a dense atmosphere and its surface is shrouded in a thick orange haze. This haze had made it difficult for astronomers to study Titan, but Voyager 2's instruments were able to penetrate it, revealing a fascinating world of mountains, valleys, and even lakes and rivers of liquid methane and ethane. This discovery led scientists to speculate that Titan might be one of the most likely places in our solar system to find extraterrestrial life. But perhaps the most intriguing finding was the hint of a subsurface ocean on Enceladus, another of Saturn's moons. This icy moon is geologically active and spews massive water vapor plumes from its surface. Voyager 2's data suggested that these plumes could be connected to an underground ocean of liquid water, which has implications for the potential existence of microbial life. With Saturn now behind it, Voyager 2 continued on its journey towards the even more distant Uranus and Neptune. The mysteries of Saturn were left behind, but its revelations continue to inspire and challenge our understanding of the cosmos. In a feat of cosmic navigation, Voyager 2 reached the ice giants Uranus in 1986 and Neptune in 1989. These remote celestial bodies, shrouded in mystery and enigma, were about to reveal their secrets to our small but ambitious spacecraft. Uranus, the seventh planet in our solar system, was the first to greet Voyager 2, a sight to behold Uranus was an azure globe, its atmosphere saturated with hydrogen, helium, and a smattering of methane that gives the planet its signature blue hue. But what truly struck the scientists was the planet's peculiar tilt. Unlike other planets that rotate like tops, Uranus spins on its side with its axis nearly parallel to its orbit. This results in extreme seasons, each lasting about 20 years. Voyager 2's visit to Uranus also led to the discovery of 10 previously unknown moons, bringing the total to 27. These small satellites, named after characters from the works of Shakespeare and Alexander Pope, vary greatly in size and composition, adding to the diversity and complexity of this distant planetary system. Next, Voyager 2 set its sights on Neptune, the furthest planet from the Sun in our solar system. Neptune welcomed Voyager with a vibrant display of deep blues and swirling storms, the most notable being the Great Dark Spot, a tempest as large as our own planet Earth. This storm, however, was not permanent. When the Hubble Space Telescope looked at Neptune a few years later, the Great Dark Spot was nowhere to be found, suggesting that Neptune's atmosphere is constantly changing and evolving. 
Neptune's moon Triton was another highlight of Voyager 2's journey. Triton is one of the coldest places in the solar system, but despite the frigid temperatures, Voyager 2 observed geysers erupting from its icy surface. These geysers, spewing nitrogen gas and dark dust particles, can reach up to five miles high before falling back and creating dark streaks on Triton's surface. This discovery was a stark reminder that even in the most inhospitable environments, dynamism and change are the only constants. Voyager 2's encounters with Uranus and Neptune were monumental. These distant worlds, once mere points of light, were now known entities, their secrets unlocked by a small spacecraft on a grand journey. But perhaps what is most impressive is that Voyager 2 remains, to this day, the only spacecraft to have visited these distant ice giants. It is humbling to realize that these observations, made over three decades ago, still stand as our best look at Uranus and Neptune. They remind us how much we have learned, but also how much there is still to discover. Each new finding, each new image, brings us one step closer to understanding our place in the cosmos. Having completed its grand tour, Voyager 2 was not finished. Its journey was to continue into interstellar space. And as it ventures further into the unknown, we can only imagine what new mysteries it will uncover, what new worlds it will reveal. For the story of Voyager 2 is not just a story of exploration and discovery, it is a testament to our human spirit, our insatiable curiosity, and our unyielding desire to reach beyond our grasp. Beyond the planets, beyond the sun, Voyager 2 ventured into the vast, uncharted territory of interstellar space. A journey like never before, a feat that has set Voyager 2 apart from its spacefaring brethren. In November of 2018, the craft crossed a boundary, leaving behind the heliosphere, the protective bubble of particles and magnetic fields created by our sun, and ventured into the wild unknown of interstellar space. The significance of this cannot be overstated. Voyager 2 has become our first-hand informant, our eyes and ears in a realm that lies beyond our immediate reach. The data it sends back to us is invaluable, providing us with key insights into this unexplored region. Measurements of cosmic rays, for example, are helping us understand the radiation environment in interstellar space, something that is crucial for future long-duration manned missions to outer space. But not just cosmic rays, Voyager 2 is also studying the interstellar medium, the stuff that fills the space between the stars. Comprising a mix of ionized atomic and molecular gas, dust and cosmic rays, the interstellar medium is the raw material from which stars and their accompanying planets are formed. By studying it, we're essentially peering into the cradle of star formation, gaining an understanding of the processes that lead to the birth of celestial bodies, like our own sun and the planets that orbit it. And all this information is being sent to us from a distance of over 18 billion kilometers away. Imagine that for a moment, a man-made object launched more than four decades ago is still operational and sending us data from such an unimaginable distance. It's mind-boggling, to say the least. Still operational, Voyager 2 continues its journey, a solitary explorer in the cosmic ocean. It's a testament to our insatiable curiosity, our need to explore and understand the universe we inhabit. And as Voyager 2 forges ahead into the unknown, we wait in eager anticipation for the secrets it will unveil. Voyager 2 has left an indelible mark on our understanding of the solar system. This intrepid explorer has not merely passed by planets, but it has rewritten the textbooks with its groundbreaking discoveries. Voyager 2's grand tour took it by the four giant planets where it unveiled stunning truths. At Jupiter, it revealed the existence of lightning and suggested the presence of an ocean beneath the icy surface of the moon, Europa. As it swung by Saturn, it discovered a mysterious hexagonal cloud pattern at the planet's North Pole and provided the first close-up images of the moon, Titan. At Uranus, it found a magnetic field tilted at a staggering 60 degrees to the planet's axis of rotation. And Neptune. Voyager 2 showed us dark, violent storms in Neptune's atmosphere and geysers erupting from its moon, Triton. Each revelation has pushed the boundaries of our knowledge imbuing us with a sense of wonder and a thirst for more. 
Each planet, each moon has told us a story about the astonishing diversity and surprising activity within our solar system. Now Voyager 2 is more than 18 billion kilometers away from Earth, venturing into the interstellar medium, the space between the stars. It's still sending back data, still contributing to our understanding of the universe. As for its future, Voyager 2 carries enough power to keep its instruments running until around 2030. After that, it will continue its silent journey, traveling at a speed of over 15 kilometers per second. And while its discoveries have been many, perhaps Voyager 2's most significant contribution is the inspiration it has sparked. It has shown us that we, as a species, have the ability to reach out, to explore, to understand the cosmos that surrounds us. Voyager 2, a testament to human ingenuity and curiosity, sails on, carrying Earth's message into the cosmos. Onboard Voyager 2 is a golden record, a time capsule carrying the sounds and images of Earth. This is no ordinary record. It's a cosmic mixtape, a 40-minute journey through the human experience. It's a compilation of our greatest hits, from the beat of a human heart to the serenade of a nightingale, and it's traveling at a speed of 35,000 miles per hour into the infinite expanse of space. This golden record is the brainchild of a team led by the late Carl Sagan. It was designed to communicate the story of our world to extraterrestrials who might stumble upon it. The record carries a selection of Earth's sounds, the rush of a wind, the crash of an ocean wave, the calls of birds and whales. It includes musical selections from different cultures and ages, spoken greetings in 55 languages, and a printed message from then President Jimmy Carter. Inscribed on its cover are scientific diagrams, a pulsar map showing the location of our sun, and instructions for playing the record. Even if the Voyager crafts never meet intelligent life, the golden record serves as a reminder of our hope and our humanity. But why send a record into space? The golden record is more than a message to the stars. It's a message to ourselves. It's a testament to human achievement and a symbol of our desire to reach out and connect with the universe. It's a beacon of our existence, a way of saying we were here, we are here. This record might never be found, and even if it is, we might not be around to receive a response, but that's not the point. The golden record is about the journey, not the destination. It's about the act of reaching out, of saying hello, of sharing who we are with the universe. As Voyager 2 continues its journey, it carries with it a piece of us, a snapshot of our world and our place in the cosmos. Voyager 2 is one of the farthest human-made objects from Earth, a statement that rings with a profound sense of awe and insignificance. This intrepid explorer is now over 11 billion miles away from our blue planet, journeying through the vast, uncharted territories of interstellar space. To give you a sense of just how far it has traveled, consider this. Voyager 2 is so distant that it takes over 16 hours for its signals to reach us here on Earth. These signals, traveling at the speed of light, cover a distance that would take a commercial jet plane more than a million years to traverse. Despite this overwhelming distance, Voyager 2 continues to communicate with us, its messages serving as a reminder of our indomitable spirit of exploration. It travels at a speed of over 38,000 miles per hour, a speed so immense that it could circle the Earth in less than an hour. Yet, at this incredible velocity, it would still take it more than 70,000 years to reach the nearest star to our solar system, it's a journey that Voyager 2 will continue indefinitely, long after its power supplies have faded and its transmissions have ceased. Even then, it will remain a testament to the human endeavor, a silent ambassador from Earth, drifting through the cosmic ocean of the Milky Way galaxy. As we marvel at the vastness of space and our place within it, Voyager 2's journey serves as a humbling reminder of our scale in the grand scheme of the universe. It is a testament to our curiosity, our technological prowess, and our burning desire to seek out the unknown. Voyager 2, a tiny speck in the cosmos, is a symbol of our desire to explore and understand the universe. A symbol that, even in the face of the unimaginable vastness of space, we are here, we are curious, and we dare to dream of what lies beyond the horizon. As Voyager 2 continues its journey, what does the future hold for this intrepid explorer? Voyager 2, our silent ambassador, is on a journey toward the unknown, traversing the vast cosmic ocean. It's a journey that will continue for eons, long after we are gone.
But what does the future hold for this brave explorer? In the forthcoming years, our connection with Voyager 2 will gradually fade. The spacecraft's power supply, fueled by the slow decay of plutonium-238, is dwindling. By the late 2030s, there won't be enough electrical power to operate any of the scientific instruments. The spacecraft will eventually fall silent, its last whisper lost in the cosmic wind. But do not despair, for this is not the end of Voyager's story. Even as its voice grows faint and finally silent, the spacecraft will continue its journey. Unfettered by the loss of power, Voyager 2 will keep drifting, a silent envoy from a distant blue planet. It will continue to traverse the cosmic sea on a journey that could last for billions of years. Its trajectory will take it close to a nearby star called Ross 248 in about 40,000 years. But close is a relative term in the vastness of space. It will still be trillions of miles away. Even in silence, Voyager 2 will continue to be a symbol of human curiosity and our unyielding spirit of exploration. It stands as a testament to our species' ability to reach out, to explore, and to seek answers in the great beyond. In the grand scheme of the cosmos, our existence is but a brief flash, a fleeting moment in the cosmic dance. But Voyager 2, our humble ambassador, carries with it a piece of us, a snapshot of our world and culture frozen in time. Though it may one day fall silent, Voyager 2's legacy will endure, a testament to our species' insatiable curiosity and unyielding spirit of exploration. It's a silent whisper in the cosmic ocean, a message in a bottle, cast adrift on the cosmic sea, waiting to be discovered.